Filming from Django 2019, I'm here at the booth of Indie Boards and Cards and Stronghold Games where they're presenting a new chapter in the Eon's End saga, this one being Eon's End The New Age. And Nick is going to tell us a little bit about it. Thank you, Nick. Yep, so Aeon's End The New Age is the, the fourth installment, or fourth big box of Aeon's End. Uh, the third one was Aeon's End Legacy, so it was a legacy game with this long campaign to it. Uh, after hearing what people wanted uh, from the Legacy campaign and not hitting everything with that because of how Legacy games work, we decided to uh, design the expedition system. So it is similar to a campaign system uh, with a different set of rules. But so uh, the New Age introduces that expedition system, and through playing the first, <laughs> through playing through the New Age content, you'll do the first expedition without really having to learn the rules. It will just give them to you, oh, I see. and then you'll get a rule book that tells you here's how to replay all your content. As expeditions. Like a tutorial as you play. Like yeah, as you basically play. as the content unlocks, it, go, it, it gives uh -huh. you the, the stuff that you're supposed to, and then we give you a, a booklet that tells you the rules of how to incorporate all of your content uh -huh. into the expedition system. So, the expedition system plays over four chapters. Mm -hmm. Basically, the first game is very similar to any one-off game of Anzen. And then after you after you play, you're going to gain uh, treasure. So the first set of treasures that you get are cards that go in your deck. So these are similar to the starter cards that you uh -huh. have in your deck, but they replace one of the basic cards and they have upgraded abilities. And what's cool about these is that they are they reference the cards and characters from the previous games. So uh -huh. you've like discovered the, the treasures of previous generations because you're the new age, right? So the second set of treasures you get are group treasures, so they kind of encourage you as a team to go after a certain strategy and give you rewards based on that. So you'll get these at the end of chapter mm -hmm. three, or at the end of chapter two to play in chapter three and four. <laughs> the third set of treasures are individual treasures and they just start in play and they give you an ability whenever you do something or at the start of the game, etc. So you'll be able to customize your mage with these different abilities. Every time you play, you'll get a different subset of them because there's a bunch of them and you just draw four or five of them depending on the uh -huh. setup. So the, the cool part about it is we think that Aeon Zen fans would love the ability to replay all of their content in a structured format uh -huh. that increases difficulty and changes the way that you interact from game to game instead of playing just a bunch of one-off games. So it has, exactly, so it's not just single scenarios, there's a campaign system, but different from the legacy, the game yeah, doesn't exactly. legacy, burn itself as it goes. Yeah, it gets, well, legacy is a, is a self-contained game, uh -huh. but at the end, you have an expansion, a bunch of content that you can replay, uh -huh. and you can buy a reset kit to play through it yes. again, but it's still the same content yeah. in the same order. And this one, when you open it up, you'll have a narrative through the first campaign that you play, and you'll be able to play the content as we intended to give it to you, but then you'll be able to randomize whatever you want. Is there, other, is there any other significant change in gameplay? Or is it mainly in the structure of the campaign and situation system? It's mostly in the structure and then in the in the treasures. The way that you play the game is the same as you would play, and it's the same gameplay that has Aeon's in a top 100 game on board game. Mm -hmm. So it's excellent. The game is very well received. It gets lots of high ratings. So we, we stick to that backbone of the game. It ain't so broken. People don't have to. Yeah. So that people don't have to learn something totally new each time. Excellent. Is the game available already? Uh, it will be available late September. But for lucky people coming. At Gen Con, will they already be able to pick yep. up a copy? Yep, the people who are here at Gen Con will get it, and Kickstarter backers are being shipped it now in the US and then a little bit delayed in the rest of the world. Excellent, thank you so much. Thank you.